Hi, it's Miss Pretzel at the Apple West Library, and I am book talking a realistic fiction book that may target your heartstrings. Will probably target your heartstrings if you read it. Uh, it's called Take Me With You When You Go, and it's by David Levithan and Jennifer Niven, both well established YA authors. Uh, I have read all of Jennifer Niven's books All the Bright Places, Holding Up the Universe, and her new one, Breathless. So this is her newest one. Uh, we have a lot of his books. He's written some on his own and co-authored with other people. Um, but now I want to read more of his books. Uh, so this book is, the main characters are B and Ezra. They are brother and sister. And the family wakes up one morning and B's gone. And it's clear that she's run away. And we come to find out that um, it's... B and Ezra and their mother and their mother's husband, so their stepfather, Darren. And we come to find out that Darren is definitely physically abusive at times uh, in terms of hitting, pushing, but there's other kinds of abuse, what we call emotional, psychological abuse, you know, even from their mother, you know, putting things, putting them down. I know there's talk about, um, like, Darren drove over their Christmas presents one time, you know, smashed them to pieces with the car. Um, doesn't think they should have Christmas presents. Uh, and it's not like they can't afford them or anything. So this book is set up in a way that B has left the house um, and the parents, the mom and the stepdad choose not to pursue it or even tell anybody that she's gone. Um, but Ezra knows his sister well enough that he goes to his own room where he knows, she knows that he had some cash and he finds an email address there. So this book is told through emails to the, between the brother and sister. And we come to find out so much about their life. Like they've been told by their mom that they're dad walked out on them and that's all they've ever known about their dad um, and I'll just say that Beatrix is running away but she's also running to something um, I think why is this book so important in for like for me and for other people to read and I think it's because uh, the mom and Darren on the outside appear to be decent parents and Ezra and B are really good at hiding that there's anything wrong in this family um, and so I think that we need to understand that that uh, there's sometimes abusive situations they're not clearly obvious you can't just see by looking uh, you have to you have to see it in another way and be, with me leaving, things happen that Darren kind of shows his true colors in public a couple times, which, you know, shock people and, you know, people start to go, whoa, something's definitely wrong there. So Ezra ends up living with uh, a couple different friends and fa other families uh, during the course of this book. So I guess what I loved about this book is that relationship between the brother and sister, how they throughout everything have held each other up and continue to do so. Um, B, by the end of this book, starts to see that there are possibilities in her life, things that she never really thought she could do, that she is going to try to do. Um, and she's really taking charge of her own life. So I really, I really did enjoy this book. And like, why would you want to read such a sad book? I think Books are an incredible way to understand really what's going on inside the head of people and what's going on in the background that we may not see. So this helps us to see a little more clearly in life um, and understand people a little better in general. And like I said, I have read everything she's written and I want to read more of his. And I think like if you like a realistic fiction book that may tug at your heartstrings. This is an incredible book, but also I feel the hope at the end, you know, like, yeah, these kids are in a bad situation, but definitely B is finding her way through it. And I think Ezra is as well, even though he's 
much younger. You know, B's 18. I believe he's about... They they never say his exact age, but I get the sense through some things that are said that he's about three years younger. So he's 15 or 16. Um, so I recommend this book if you like realistic fiction books that deal with difficult issues. But like I said, the relationship between B and Ezra is, is worth the read. Um, so come on in. We can, you can check out this book. You can check out one of her, one of their other books. Um, or I will help you find something else, whatever you like to read. And even if you think you don't like to read, I believe there's a book out there for everyone and I will help you find it and do everything I can to find that right book for you. So come on in to the library and, uh, let me help you find a book. Have a fantastic day and keep on reading. Bye.